He is coming off a performance of a lifetime against St. Joe's in which he played 41 minutes including the overtime 22 points six rebounds four assists four blocks. He was sensational return to center that time a nice block that is by Anna Chili Killen and there's a three and that is right on cue Trey Mitchell. You see two quick three ball attempts by Kentucky. That's been the story <laughs> this year for the Wildcats. And there's a three on the other end. How about Jacob Connor? He's going to improve on that percentage right there in front of the rim as the season goes on. Kentucky has gotten off to this start with Wagner not playing his best ball yet. Reeves has played pretty well. And it reads. Picks up the loose change and takes it all the way to the rack. And, and whether it was the assist to turnover ratio, the ability to make a three. Yeah, I think the overall skill level that these freshmen have displayed is something that Cal is very excited about. Boy, another block. Dillingham always on the aggressive. Kick out pass. Reeves never shy. Buries another triple. Antonio Reeves, 40% from downtown. It's not just great athletes. Kentucky always gets the best athletes in the world. They got some skill players. And this kid, Reed Shepard, has been a defensive dynamo inside Mitchell with the basket. That's all started. And they're not shy at all. They've, they've got guys who can make the three. In Kentucky, that's, again, something they'll have to learn how to defend better. Well, the last guy that hit one was Kirkman. He's their best overall shooter, although he's in a bit of a slump this year. Coach Cow in practice today was saying, we have got to identify number 11. Well, now they're coming from all over the place. But they had been a little bit leaky on the defensive end. St. Joe's at times scored at will against Kentucky. He scored a lot of points in an overtime. Another three hoisted up by the herd. Tapped around to the hands of Shepard. Long pass right on the money. And there, drifting for the layup is DJ Wagner. Advancing it to whoever's running up the floor. There's a miss and a rebound by Dillingham. Always on the attack. Finds the slashing DJ Wagner and a timeout by Marshall. But he did say, I was talking to him and Stacy before the game, and he says, yeah, Reed got his defensive uh, instincts for mom. Stacy uh -huh. was a fantastic defensive player. Woo. I'll tell you what, 25 and a chilly killing. And, and Marshall, they will go to zone uh, at times just to switch things up. Nice job. Uh, baseline penetration. And, and Marshall, they will go to zone uh, at times just to switch things up. Nice job. Uh, baseline penetration again. Just Dillingham. The South Carolina game cuts. Of course, the big one be taking place a couple hours uh, away. That was played in January. This event will be played in November. Easy bucket. The arrow left alone at the free throw line. Mostly is what a lot of guys were, uh, a lot of teams were looking for. Six on the shot clock for Shepard. He sees it on a blow by it. Shepard high off the window and in. Back up top at Shepard. Shepard senses a mismatch. Pull up jumper. Back iron. And there's an offensive rebound provided by Fierro. Sets up the three from Reeves. Kentucky, by the way, six of nine from behind the arc. They came in shooting 40% as a team from downtown. Thundering Heard with a response. And a chilly killing. Want to make sure to identify the shooters. Ten points for Anna Chile, killing to lead the way, and there's Reeves. He's heating up. He's leading the way for Kentucky now. Eight, making 11 points for Reeves on three of three from behind the arc. Strong take and a nice bucket by Nate Martin. He's a transfer. Quick shake. Nice action and an easy bucket by Mitchell. And again, threading the needle, Shepard. That is his fourth assist. Ooh. Dillingham just lulled the defender to sleep and then takes it right past him to the rack. And there's no wasted space. Well, I think what we're learning, or I think most of us thought before the season even started, as Mitchell gets an and one. Trey Mitchell, Virginia. Bobby Huggins gets relieved of his duties. That paved the way for him to come to Lexington, and what a find he is. You saw the ball move around to the best passer available to get it to him in that mismatch, and they accomplished it and executed it. I think a lot of teams are going to have mismatches against this Kentucky offense. 
Just I mean, as much he needed as he's jumping away from the rim. He is a shot creator. And not a shot in his bag of tricks that he does not possess. There's Kirkman on a... Reeves up top finds Wagner on the wing. Wagner slicing, oh, dicing, and an one. The hoop and the harm. Trey Mitchell posting up there, but tough to get it to him, right? Because of the long arms of, of his defender, but just the, the strength. I think that's 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 pretty accurate. And a lot of D Rose comparisons. Nice. Kentucky on a steal, Reeves on a finish. Eight players, no doubt, for much of the way in half number two. Inside it comes to Mitchell, and that is candy for Trey Mitchell, the 6'9", 230-pound forward out of Pittsburgh. Wagner coming off a memorable first half, 13 points, five rebounds, four assists, and he starts off with a deep two that rattles in to make it 73-41. to 41. Game, It's one thing to have somebody who can make shots and dribble, but do they have good decision-making? Right. These freshmen have good decision-making skills. Now, you hear the term so often, basketball IQ. The basketball IQ for this year's version of Big Blue. Doesn't force it, realizes Trey Mitchell's open, swings it. Baseline jumper. First Just half, he made a few of those, set his feet. Well, didn't one, rush it. One thing Coach Cal keeps telling Justin Edwards, we know you can shoot threes. We need you to play bigger, sure. take it to the hole. And, and these games are difficult for a team like Marshall, who's played four of their five games, now six on the road. Great shot by Connor. They had no hesitation. They took a tough loss in their game today. Dillingham Ooh. fouled in the three-pointer to boot a chance at a four-point play for Rob Dillingham. It, it's, you know, Cal is used to doing that. Coach Cal sort of for the last however many years, that's what you like to see him be confident to step in with that. That is a lost art in you, college basketball. Mike with that gives a great hands by DJ Wagner. Uh-oh, a little showtime perhaps. Dillingham. He has so much body control mid-air. Boy, he's comfortable with that, too. Just glides to the right side of the rim. A nice soft touch with the spin. Three on the other end by... I, I love how it's always a direct line to the basket. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The arrow on a steal. Two on one to Wagner. Yeah, different, different guy. Same genre. Tough layup in traffic. Boy, a, and a chilly killing has been inventing shots tonight. Shepard up top. Probing. Mid-range. Pull up. Good. You think about the one loss they had. First off, they scored a ton of points against Kansas on a neutral floor. They Look had none of their big guys. Come on. Shepard wide open. But the extra pass. Easy. By the way. That's four consecutive games for Kentucky with 12 threes or more. That is the first time Kentucky has pulled that off since 1989. So those types of things are going to improve, certainly getting out to three-point shooters. I think the best advice I got from uh, my AAU coach, the great Leo Patel. Well, speaking of which, Marshall is 8 for 23 from distance so far in this game. Look at the ball movement. Look at another wide open three. And another make for Reeves. Uh, and just be a nuisance. A little stick back that time. We're trying to calculate all the deflections oh, from Kentucky players. Yeah, I've lost count. They're, they're ball hawks, man. Shepard on a triple. How about that? Ball's tips, no back court violation. Ooh, almost a steal. And then a slam on the other end. Look here at that. Go. Everyone touching the basketball. I love it. Watkins up. Here we go. Hart on a three. Why not? Why not? Joey Hart been sitting on the bench for 39 minutes. <laughs> and he hits a triple for Kentucky. That's 16 for the Wildcats. And that's the most points in a game under Coach Cal. Ball movement, Mike. This is impressive what Kentucky did here tonight. I mean, you score 118 on 61% shooting, 59 from three, a three-to-one assist-to-turnover ratio. A lot to like about what 
this team has been able to do through a half a dozen games and this is blowout city tonight 118 to 82.